Good morning. Just double checking that my microphone is working. It is. Wow. Like now at the moment, I'm having a little bit of an issue there with the chat stream not coming it up, but saying there's an error. Um, don't know why that is. Uh, whether I needed to have reset something. I really don't know. It's saying there's an error. Can't bring it up. So unfortunately, if you've got comments to say good morning or good evening, depending on where you are, of course, um, it's looking like I can't bring them up. It's showing that, yes, I have got them here. Ah, yep, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Good. Good morning, Sharon. How are you? And we've got Carol here. Wonderful. So at least that is coming up. Uh, I'm not sure if that's showing in the stream itself on the side or anything, but I'm putting them into the stream. So that's good. And good morning, Sarah. Happy Friday the 13th. Absolutely. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it is, Ros. <laughs> so... That's looking like it's showing up well. Good. We're here to actually do a daily Lenormand card spread reading. And it is a spread, as I've mentioned. So it's just a general, it is a general card reading that is for everyone, for myself and for everyone. It's not pulling individual cards for card readings for people. That's on different night, usually a Friday but not tonight because I've got something else happening tonight. I'm going to be doing some uh, paranormal research and uh, that will be instead of the show tonight, but there will be some televised stuff as if I was still doing a show, sort of. It's on my time, tv.live anyway. So you need to keep an eye on that or actually set notifications like you can for almost anywhere that we are present on our social media or YouTube or whatever channel or avenue you watch this. I've got, f oh, hang on, I've got five that I'm streaming to, which is the Twitch, the Periscope, the YouTube, and the two Facebook locations, which are MyTimeTV.Live and Ros Boundary Socket Medium Card Reading Group, which is a private group. So you have to actually ask to be a member of that one. So that's the places I've got this happening live. And now that I think I've done that sort of housework, I'll switch it over to the cards. It's what we're here for. So, oops, I just realised I've got something showing up twice there. There we go. Now, I had that so perfectly positioned that it didn't show the stand, that it was actually the cards in the perfect spot. There we go. And now, of course, it's not doing it. Sorry about this. It was perfect before. I had them perfectly lined up, so sorry for that uh, level of uh, and I'm going to, uh, just a reminder that that, that, oh hang on, that way, that way, the link to the hypnosisplus.com.au is my website that you can actually book the um, individualised readings if that's what you'd like to have, if you feel the need that you need, that you do need to do that. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> I'll get rid of that. Um, here we have the cards that we're using. It is the Lenormand Gilded Reverie Expanded Edition, as you can see. And as I've said before, all I spruik is artwork. I love the Ciro Machetti artwork. Now, here we go. We've got in our, um, yeah, I agree, beautiful cards for today. Um, um, I was enjoying laying them down this time because the first one is the star in the workspace beautiful card and we've got the flowers or bouquet in the home space which is really good one good place to have that we've got stalk up in the unexpected and we have bear in our role or your role and we have ship in the outcome so that's cool and petty or oh first time in the stream well thank you very much for popping in and that is via twitch um, I'd have to say it's not a channel that I have that's very busy, <laughs> but it's lovely to see people pop in. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to, or um, just do the follow thing. 
uh, it's it's uh, in whatever way that you feel comfortable in following along and having reminders too. I do this every day. We've got in our star position, the star position, in our work position, we have the star. And that's a great place, like the ideas, the whatever we're wanting to actually um, put our focus and attention on. You know, there's always going to be some little ideas that are going to pop into our head, bring up, you know, the little sparklies in our focus so that for me, I know how often I get distracted and social media is one of those places uh, that you can actually um, have that focus being drawn to the one star that's really bright and keep that focus on that one star, that one idea. There might be some bigger side issue, you know, some that are a little bigger in all of that mishmash of what is the cosmos. But you know for yourself that there's only really one that feels like a passion or oh, I've really got to follow this and a couple others, gee, they're pretty good. I might follow up those. Keep your focus on, this is telling us that for today, keep your focus on that one that really is where it needs to be and steady it into that, gaze into almost so that you actually see that um, you know, that inner light from, from that particular idea or um, what you're needing to actually develop even brighter. So that's what I'm feeling around the energy of the star this morning. And Fiona, good morning to you too. And I dare say you are on the right page because the comments come up, Fiona. So you're on one of the right pages, so it's all good. And there we have that beautiful string of hearts. I love it. It is like a necklace, isn't it? And right, now we can move on to, you didn't miss much, Fiona, the star, keeping the focus on that in your workspace, whether it's a job that you're doing or whether it's business you're doing for yourself or just having that that feels more like you, you're working, that you're working into it. It's what the meaning around a workspace is. It's not just, you know, you're going out to a job that pays your money all the time. Developing and growing, and this is the results here of flowers, really. It's uh, in our home space, so that energy is around more the home. And as you can see there with the gorgeous little note, it's you can't see the actual detail on it specifically. I can. And it does say, um, well, it actually says Gilded Reverie on there. So I think probably a little bit of self-advertisement of the card deck. But we know that we can write whatever we want, whatever we need to in this gift card. So whether we're gifting these flowers to ourselves or whether we are giving and gifting to someone else as a recognition of love or acknowledgement or just because we can give a gift. And being in the home space, and uh, yes, you can see the other comments on the other page, you don't, yeah. I can see that, Fiona. Yeah, you are on the right page. Um, the flowers, it, it is the, um, you know, we don't do a lot of what we do for receiving our rewards. It's not the reason why we do that, but it really is nice when we have that acknowledgement that brings forward that, um, you know, that someone is seeing us, that someone is loving us if it's a gift for a romantic purpose that's or you know because of love in a family we always gave our mum a lovely floral arrangement because we knew it's what she absolutely loved so that's why um, there's different reasons for gifting flowers and of course that it, it means too that there's different reasons for receiving them as well so I'm feeling that there is the need for us today to actually acknowledge others in our lives, in our lives, <laughs> yeah, including the past ones and future ones in whatever way you understand that. Uh, yeah, slip that one, but it wasn't. <laughs> so it's meant to be. So go back even into those past lives and say thank you to the we who we are, <laughs> you know, each and every one of us in our individual selves right through to those past lives and what we have in our future too. Divine numbers, absolutely. They are. 
So give that time, uh, give that gift to yourself and time can be one of those gifts. Okay, um, I've got in the, uh, I just want to try and get that so it's easier to point. See that beautiful sunshine in the, that's glowing through that nest. It's almost like it's transparent. This is the stork card, which actually is a change card. And being in the unexpected, it really is that time of, um, you know, don't be too surprised if there's something that really does change up, change around, um, shift for you today. Um, as you can see there in this stork's beak, we actually have a stick. And it's that anticipation there of what is he or she. I think it's actually the male that does the nest in this pair of storks that do pair for life. Um, what is he actually about to do? Add to, shift it round, you know, really make it even that much better by, by having that um, stick or branch add to a nest or has he taken it away? It's really moving things around that actually suit purpose to do whatever we need it to and that's where I'm feeling this unexpected card of the stork is sitting for us today. So don't, you know, have that awareness around where that's going to show up, when it might show up for your day to day is the stork having that shift of something that's going to be meaningful for us. And then here in our role, we've got the bear. Now the bear is a bit more about the work um, you know, getting things done. But I feel too that there's, what I'm getting is that let things cool down a bit. Don't go into things, into what you're doing in the in the day to day, in the heat of the moment. What I'm seeing is more that crystal palace castle effect in and behind the bear in this one. Good morning, Shaz. How are you this morning? beautiful day I bet your happy space is a nice spot this morning with the sun I've just got the sun shining through I can see that there is a few clouds over in your direction so maybe not but uh, it is it just looks gorgeous out there I'm still watching out the corner of my eye and here's some <laughs> birds in the tree that just have so much fun I love it sitting here watching out of my office window it's beautiful the energy of um contemplation I suppose and observance and watching what's around us I think that's part of what we're doing as far as moving forward with with our tasks through the day to day but I am feeling that there is some moments where we're going to need to actually let it cool down and um, have things put on ice for a little bit you know it's just that decision making of what change is it there that's going to come up unexpectedly that'll possibly it is connected with what our role is and having it um, cool things down a bit could be just the heat of the moment you never know what are the flowers for is there some form of argument that's the, the gift of the flowers is a bit of a forgive me please um, you know only you can know what your own situation in life is isn't it and uh, Fiona you can relate to the card 15 the bear yeah it is, and not there has had to drive hubby to work to catch a bus to the Barossa. My goodness, wow, you're travelling around a bit this morning. Um, take care. <laughs> I doubt there'll be icy roads, so you should be fine there at least. Um, but keeping an eye on what's around you so that uh, you are aware of all things that are <laughs> happening um, for you, Shaz, as you're driving around um, for others whatever you're doing have that awareness of you know that unexpected as far as the potential for change what that change might be and you're needing to um, either move it forward out of the cold or actually sit in sit in that you know have the energy move into a bit of a cooling down um, we're moving then to and this is where the flexibility comes in in my view with the ship in our outcome it's having allowing being flexible being in the flow this ship it is about traveling usually and shares definitely pertinent to you if you're traveling up to or, you know driving hubby to work to get the bus and everything you're on the road it's the flexibility of movement it's actually um 
move, moving into wherever you need to be in whatever direction that is, you've got control of your own tiller or rudder or steering wheel or whatever it is that you're going to be doing uh, today because remember these are the energies of what today is. And Fiona, you've got the sun sh starting to shine through. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And you're sitting, whoops, that one, that dropped out before I'd even finished reading it. Sit in while you listen to me. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. It's one of those weird things like a ship or a boat. You can have those that are, um, oh, I'm just trying to think. You know, it's it's almost like the difference in what you get with water, the three, the three states of what H2O, water, is. In the elements, the bare elements combined together, they're the same, but they can be in steam, in a liquid form, and in the solid form of ice. What we can get even with how we move around in our directions and that it can be on a road, it can be on water, it can be in the air. There's all that sort of flexibility in how we move and we've got control. We need to have that knowing uh, of how to because not everybody knows how to drive a car. Um, oh, you finished <laughs> you finished the pickup now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, coffee in Utah. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So moving in and around through your day with that flexibility, this usually does mean a longer term travel. Um, but what we need to remember with what the cards are telling us, giving us in the messages that we're receiving, being open to them, of course, you need to have your senses open to receiving your messages that are, are from your guides to you. Um, having that flexibility of understanding of what those signs and symbols might be for you throughout your day too. And uh, you know, we do have that control of how we move around and about in our day, how we move in our own understanding of self and all the ways that that can be as well. So um, it really is uh our role, our responsibility to move that forward, whether it feels like work or not. It's it's the whole, allow that focus to be where you know it needs to be for your work. If you're working from home, you know, it's times, even if you're solo preneur type, which, you know, I am, um, you don't always give yourself the recognition and thank yous either, but it's it's also remembering you have a life other than your workspace and place. Um, that you do have people around you in your home, in your family and allowing that uh, being aware of what those changes might be and this the stalks are definitely part of that family connection too, as is Bear. Um, we are all interconnected as well in one way or another. So love it where you are, um, love you where you are, know that you're in the perfect space and place for what you need to be living in through learning from all of that so and I've, and that's why we do the cut well why i do the cast just to gain a bit more clarity and understanding around that we did have very good thunderstorms and lightnings the other night and absolutely the colors were divine and it's when we're actually aware of connecting within all that is and that does include the physical of what nature is doing around us and what's happening in our home space that's the physical as well as that that is the emotional, the feelings and the interaction with the people we love and those that we don't love so much, you know, that we might have a bit of angst with or estrangement from and all of that. <sighs> live with awareness that every moment that we are here, it is that learning and growing and being more of who we are and being the best people that we can be okay so i'm going to leave you with that and the understanding thank you kathy that you can uh, take from these cards for yourself in whatever way i've guided you through hi stevie all the way from the uk <laughs> heading into your evening now um so <laughs> have a wonderful day and keep being that best person that you are with the awareness and understanding that only can come from inside and from guidance of who is out and about and around you as well. We're here for reasons of interaction as the whole too. Thank you.
so have a wonderful Friday the 13th. <laughs> Good reminder. Thank you, Fiona. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 here, same place and time, 8 o'clock Adelaide time. Just a reminder for that. So namaste until then. Bye, everyone. And look here. Oh, yes, that'll be interesting. Good reminder, Sarah. Yes. Um, the other show, usually I do have Friday's Intuitive Chat with Leanne and I being uh, doing the individual readings. Tonight it's going to be a little different. I'm not sure how we're structuring it, but the Friday's Intuitive Chat isn't going to be as it is normally for readings like that. It's potentially we're hoping that we'll get the live stream happening as a like part of what is Leanne and Simone's 1111 Paranormal Researchers and doing some paranormal research tonight that will hopefully be televised, <laughs> televised? live streamed. So keep your eye on my time TV live for that one. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>